What's up, y'all? Check this out, man. Javante Davis versus Mario Barrios, man. I heard people shitting on this fight, but you can't, bro. Javante Davis is a natural 130-pounder. Going up to 140 pounds to fight a decent guy in Mario Barrios. And it's a world championship fight. How can you shit on this fight, man? I believe this fight is a fight to lead Javante Davis into a bigger fight after this. But I just want to fuck on this fight for now, man. Mario Barrios, he a decent fighter. You know, I'm not big on him, but Javante Davis tried to fight Ryan Garcia. And what happened? Ryan Garcia pulled some whole shit. He backed out the fight. And he pursued other things that we're not going to get into right now. But you just know that he the one that, that pussied out. Now, maybe it's that's the next fight. But I'm just saying, you know, him fight Mario Barrios. He got to fight somebody. And I believe it's a tough fight. Because first of all, he never fucking fought at 140, bro. And he going up against a 140-pounder. You know, you saying dudes will give Canelo Alvarez credit for going up to 168 and fighting a motherfucking name. Um, what's that tall ass dude name? See, I don't even know his fucking name, bro. And then he just fought a motherfucker named Yildrum or some shit like that, bro. So I'm just saying, man. <laughs> what's that tall ass dude? Canelo Alvarez fought, hit in the body, and he just fell and shit. Like, come on, man. Y'all niggas will jump on Canelo nuts and get him credit for that. But Javante Davis ain't in no solid fight. Fight Mario Barrios when he never even fucking fought at 140, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Real shit. All facts. And then look at the undercard, man. I really like that fucking fight. Erickson Lubin versus Jason Rosario, bro. <laughs> hey, man, I don't know who I'm going to pick for that fight. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. Of course, I want Erickson Lubin to win, but he ain't got the foot movement that uh, Jamel Charlo got. He don't. But that don't mean he can't beat him. He, he, he can beat him, but I got to see it. Cause Jason Rosario hit hard as a motherfucker, man. And Jamel Charlo came in there with a brilliant ass game plan from Derrick James. It was brilliant, bro. It was like genius. I'm talking about it was like some magical shit going on in there, man. <laughs> you heard me? It was like magical, bro. Lucky Charms, bro. He fucked Jason Rosario up. But I don't believe Erickson Lubin can straight up just do that type of shit. I don't, I don't believe so, man. I believe Jason Rosario, man, he fight in the ring like he punching the heavy bag. It's like whoever got his pads, just hold the pads and stand right there in front of him. Because when he throw his one, two, three, he, he got to throw the whole combination. That's how you know he practiced on the miss with somebody just, you know, with, with Derrick James, he doing it as, like, s simulation. So, as if it was a real fight. So, he moving around the ring as you punching the pads. But it's Jason Rosario fights like the man who holding the pads just fucking standing there all night, all fucking day. Why he just hit the pads, bro. But that's just what I see. But... Jason Rosario hit hard as hell, man. And I don't see Erickson Luba able to get away with everything. But I can say this, man. Erickson Luba got a lot of boxing skills. But the problem is I seen him get hurt. See, I'm so confused on who I'm going to pick. I seen uh, Erickson Luba get hurt in his last fight, bro. Versus, um... Not, uh, I don't know how I slipped his mind, man. I 
I'm fucked up right now, but y'all know who I'm talking about, bro. He got hurt, bro. And dude don't even got no power, man. You know what I'm saying? He got caught in exchange, being overconfident. And he got hurt. And he was really, really hurt. Like, I'm talking about, like, legs buckled like a motherfucker. Like, I don't know if his, he got the best chin. And, or, or put it like this. I don't know if his chin can hold up versus somebody like Jason Rosario. But, you know, solid pay-per-view. You already know I'm going to be buying this shit. I'm going to buy it for sure. June 26th, man, Javante Davis versus Mario Barrios, man. That's a good-ass card, man. I'm glad they loaded it up like that because just Javante Davis versus Mario Barrios, paying pay-per-view for that, uh, that ain't enough. I ain't going to lie. But it's a good-ass fight because it's a lot of unknown within the fight. But we're throwing this undercard on there, Earth Luke versus Rosario, it's legit. Legit pay per view for sure, and I'm gonna take this fight like I said. Ryan Garcia ducked Javante Davis. I'm talking about just straight up ducked him, man. Like it wasn't shit, just ducked him. So can't can't knock Javante Davis for that, man. He only can fight where he can fight. And Mario Barrios got a little name, you know what I'm saying? He ain't as big as Ryan Garcia or no shit like that, but he's the name. People know who he is, you know. And the thing with Tank is, people will watch him fight pretty much anybody because of how exciting he is in the ring. You know, the same shit niggas was saying about Wilder. Ain't that what everybody said about Wilder? Oh, I fight, uh, man. People want to see Wilder versus anybody because he a knockout artist. Well, same thing with Tank, bro. We yeah, watch that nigga versus anybody, man. But it is what it is, man. I can't wait to see this fight. You already know I support Javante Davis super hard. He my boy. And I can't wait to see that Lubin and Banana fight, too. But other than that, man, I'm out, man. I just want to do a quick video on all the fights. I'm going to do probably the rest of the fights I like tomorrow. But other than that, man, y'all hit that like button. I'm out, y'all. Peace.